Hi, everybody. I got a haircut. Okay. You're doing a test. <laughs> I'm so mean. You're going to need a pen and a paper for this. Get a pen and paper right now. You can press pause. I don't need to wait. Just press pause. Go get a piece of paper. Get a pen, pencil, whatever you want. You're going to need kind of big space, though. Lots of space, okay? I hope nice, neat orders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so on. Make it neat because ultimately this test, you're going to need to take a picture of the paper that you're writing on and send me that picture. And I want that picture to be one that I can read. Please. Please. Okay. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to write down in French what I'm saying. I'm going to say a French sentence. You're going to write that down. Okay? It's going to be a bit challenging. Important. Don't worry about the spelling right away. That's why a pencil is a good idea. Because they have these things at the end there. Not an eraser there. Write it down. Later, once you're done, go back. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. Spelling counts. This is language. Spelling counts in language. So, example for the first one. If the sentence were, j'aime la pizza, this is what you would put on your sheet. Not with a sharpie. J'aime la pizza. Okay? One, j'aime la pizza. Nice and straight. Legible. Hopefully that's legible. It's legible for me. Okay? That's what that'll look like. Okay? I'm going to say the phrase. You're going to write down what I say. Don't worry about spelling yet. Again, like I said. Okay? We've got a few examples. Or if that's an example, we've got a few numbers now. Now, number one. Are you ready? I know you are. Number one. J'aime le Pepsi. Pepsi. J'aime le Pepsi. Numéro deux. Numéro deux. Ma mère joue la guitare. Ma mère joue la guitare. Numéro trois. Mon père fait le dîner. Mon père fait le dîner. Numéro quatre. Tu chantes l'alphabet. Tu chantes l'alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Et je sais mon alphabet et je n'oublierai jamais. Numéro 5. Nous regardons un film. Nous regardons... Un film. Nous regardons un film. Ok? Numéro 6. I have a question for you. I'm going to say the question in English. Number 6. You'll write the number 6 and then you'll write your answer. Your answer in English. It's fine. What is the pattern that each of these sentences follows? Explain it in your own words. What's similar about all of these sentences? Think about formula. Think about pattern. Think about the order of the sentence. What's in the first bit of the sentence? What's in the middle of the sentence? What's at the end of the sentence? Put that down for number six. Write down in your own words. Just like one sentence about what you think that pattern, that similarity is. Okay, that's number six. Number seven. Seven. We're back to French now. Okay, I'm going to say a sentence in French. You're going to write the sentence down. Ready? Go. Numéro 7. Numéro 7. Tu vas faire les devoirs. Tu vas faire les devoirs. Numéro 8. Nous allons écouter la musique. Nous allons écouter la musique. Numéro 9. Elle va faire les exercices. 
Elle va faire les exercices. Numéro 10. Ils vont partir de la maison. Ils vont partir de la maison. Number 11. In the last sentence, it, in the sentence number 10, what does the word de mean? And why is it there? Look at the sentence number 10. What did you write down? The sentence number 10 says, Ils vont partir de la maison. What does that word de mean? And why is it there? Why is it important in this sentence? Okay? That's number 11. Again, just like with number 6, you're just going to write a little sentence in English about why that's there and why it's important, what it means. Okay? Numéro 12. 12, 12. 12. Je vais courir. So you write down that sentence in French. Je vais courir. Okay? Now, tricky. You're going to do a translation of all 10 sentences so far. So far, you've written down 10 sentences in French. If you count them out, you'll see. 10 sentences in French you've written down. Okay? You're going to translate each sentence. So, for example... The example I gave you, j'aime la pizza. Let me change something here. This is an example, not number one, okay? It's example, j'aime la pizza. So then, beside it, I could write, I like pizza. I like pizza. J'aime la pizza. French, j'aime la pizza, English, j'aime la pizza, I like pizza, okay? You'll notice I didn't write I like the pizza because la pizza is pizza, okay? Big brain. So I need a translation of each sentence that you wrote. So I gave you 10 sentences in French. J'aime le Pepsi, ma mère joue la guitare, mon père fait le dîner, tu chantes l'alphabet, etc. I need you to put down a translation for each of those. If you want to do it right beside, that's awesome. Or if you listed it like one, two, three, four, five, then you could start again one, two, three, four, five, just in English. Just make it so that I can tell what you're talking about. That's all. As long as I can understand, then we're good. If you're not sure, if you put it down and you're like, is it? Show it to your. Parents, show it to somebody at home. Hey, does this make sense? Can you tell the connections here? If it makes sense to somebody else who's not you, then it'll make sense to me. Probably. I'm pretty smart. Um, just make sure it's clear. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Next. Next part. This is the tricky, tricky part. Okay, the last part was tricky. This part's tricky, tricky. And I'm going to say this in French. Okay? So we're going to test you a little bit in your French. Okay? I'm going to help you out, though. Dessine une grande boîte. Dessine une grande boîte. Sur ta page. Dessine une grande boîte sur ta page. Une grande boîte. Pas une petite boîte, une grande boîte. Une boîte. Une grande boîte. Dessine une grande boîte sur ta page. OK? Premier. Premier. Mais un. Euh, oh, pardon, 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 pardon. Dessine une grande boîte. Étape 2. 